So in my quest to play catch up talking about all the different Halo games, I put out my full series review a while back which really just talked about the mainline games. I didn't really want to have full videos out dedicated to all the mobile games and the anniversary games and all that jazz, but I did want to fully talk about the Master Chief Collection, especially with all the stuff going on with it currently. So the MCC is widely known as one of the most disappointing games of all time to ever launch, and while the bugs are incredibly annoying, I still find myself really enjoying the game and commonly trying to overlook them. So going back to the disappointing year of 2014, I remember hearing the rumors of a Master Chief collection and thinking, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty cool, but Halo 2 Anniversary was just what I was really, really hoping for. Then we got that E3 reveal with a trailer that I actually really like, and the Halo 2 campaign and multiplayer footage, and it was just super, super astounding. Long story short, we got the eventual game, and it was just riddled with bugs and problems all from day one. I do want to say that I think the Master Chief Collection is a good game. I've had tons of fun with it, and I'm pretty sure it's the game I've got the second most amount of time put into on Xbox One. However, most of that is campaign, and I do vividly remember the first time I searched for a multiplayer match, and it was just around 15 minutes of waiting and sitting and doing nothing, until I finally got into my game of Halo CE Big Team Battle. So yeah, my initial impressions of the game weren't too great, but I still try to be positive. I do want to start with the fact that I do like the game, and I've heard people say that the concept of it simply doesn't work, and it's just a bad idea overall, but I don't really see it that way. I kind of get where that's coming from, but I just don't really agree that the idea is simply impossible, and obviously, if you jump from one game to the next all in a row, it'll be a little weird at first, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly address that. So the UI and the menu of the game I've actually always really enjoyed, and never had a huge problem with. I remember being amazed when they revealed it all the way back at E3, and for the most part, I still think it's pretty good. I love how the backgrounds and the music change when choosing each campaign, but I do think the title screen is a little boring. I do absolutely love the additions though of the par scores and the par time achievements, and going for all those through 5 different campaigns was a ton of fun, and it's something that definitely entertained me for months. However, just like much of this game, problems arise in the form of bugs, glitches, and the game just simply breaking out of nowhere. Majority of the time, your best score and time won't even appear where they're supposed to. So if they could fix that, it'd personally go a long way for me to keeping me motivated to keep replaying these campaign missions over and over and over. So yeah, for the missions themselves, it's obviously a joy being able to play all of them in 60fps, and the campaigns remain as fun as they ever have. Being able to choose specifically what you want remastered before each level is also a really, really nice touch. Halo CE Anniversary is great, even if it looks a little too much like Reach for my taste, and Halo 2 Anniversary was a huge treat the first time I played it. Halo 2's campaign was one of my least favorite in the series, but visually I absolutely love the look of the Anniversary Edition, and the blur cutscenes are just incredible. As much as I love Halo 3 Remastered though, we don't really need it at this time, I'd love one in the future but right now we just don't really need it, and the campaign still holds up incredibly well 11 years later. And Halo 4 is still fun to play through even with all its weird gameplay changes today. Now as great as that all sounds, all four campaigns are also buggy, buggy messes. I didn't experience too many bugs on my first playthrough of all the missions, however I did experience the game crashing on multiple occasions between loading the different missions. And the bugs I did encounter, such as the mislabeled quick time event in Halo 4 were super irritating. While these bugs were definitely a pain, they even hindered my experience too much, and overall I hope they are fixed relatively soon for the people whose campaign experience has been ruined by them. Also mentioning the ODST campaign, it's pretty much the same thing. I didn't really come across too many bugs my first time playing through it, and with this being my first time fully playing through ODST, I thought it was beautiful and I just really enjoyed it. And with it being free for many people, including myself, as an apology for the horrible launch of the Master Chief Collection, I thought that was really cool and just a fun surprise. Another interesting aspect of the campaign were these playlists they introduced. I do like the variety of them, and especially the cross-game ones are a really cool idea that I feel had a lot of potential. However, I never really feel an urge to play any of them, since many of the really fun playlists are not co-op but I'm not really sure why. Another thing holding it back is more of the game's bugs where it won't really save your progress in between the playlist, which is just infuriating, and just different things like that really just kind of make the playlist a pain to play. So moving on to the other stuff besides the campaign, the multiplayer was obviously a huge focus that I was incredibly excited to see how it would work out in the final game. The idea of really pushing five different multiplayers together all in one Halo game was interesting, and this is obviously where more of the game's problems lie. Clearly there's not really a lack of content with 14 different multiplayer playlists currently active, and a lot of them are really fun. You've got your basic Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 4 playlists. However, they've also got cross-game ones like Snipers, Double, SWAT, Big Team Battle, and Infection. I actually really enjoy the wide variety of multiplayer modes and things to play. I also like the ranking system they have with certain playlists like Halo 2 Anniversary and Doubles. And my thoughts on the individual multiplayers all pretty much stayed the same, but I absolutely loved being able to play Halo CE on Blood Gulch with people online for the first time. It was an awesome feeling and just a really cool experience that I would definitely recommend trying out if you haven't already, and really what I just think Master Chief Collection is really all about. The Halo 2 Anniversary playlist was also an awesome inclusion that I visually loved the look of, and it's still a blast to play for me to this day. I also just love the addition of the different ranking systems for each playlist that were a little reminiscent of Halo 3. So yeah, while the multiplayer offering is pretty solid, this is of course the area of the game that is still riddled with bugs and connection issues to this day. While it's a lot better than it was at launch, it can still take me a while to find games, especially on the less popular playlists. And relating to the multiplayer is by far the most irritating glitch I've ever encountered, where it basically just won't even allow you to join your friends. I could deal with all the other problems in this game, but blatantly never be able to join your friends is awful 
awful, and the fact that this remains a problem to this day is just insane. And the other multiplayer content we did get was the co-op multiplayer of Spartan Ops from Halo 4, which is also about the same. I do think that the actual cutscenes should have been included, so we can kind of relive the story since it's actually been a while. The custom games, just like the online multiplayer, also offer a wide variety of content, with your custom modes in each of the games, and maps made in Forge. The one new Forge edition we did get was obviously Halo 2 Anniversaries Forge, which just like all the other Halo 2 Anniversary stuff in the Master Chief Collection, I absolutely love and I really really enjoyed being able to finally make classic mini games in Halo 2. And just like the rest of the game, while these features are all great, their enjoyment is often hindered by game crashes and various bugs. I did love that we got actual campaign theater, which was nice for the games it was originally there for, and the customization I've always been kind of mixed on, but I do really enjoy how you can have all the different armor for five different games, but it was definitely a little disappointed that you're restricted to one armor set for each game. I also just kind of appreciated that the avatars and the nameplates you could earn by completing different achievements in the campaign, as you actually felt like you were working towards something. So that's about all that's going on with the Master Chief Collection currently. Overall, I enjoy the game and it has a lot of really great parts to it. However, almost every single one of them is affected and hindered by bugs that still have not been fixed to this day. As you might know, 343 has been talking about their bug fixes they are going to be doing to finally fix the MCC, and these actually look really promising. I'll leave a link in the description below if you haven't seen it already, but it's basically just their blog post about it, and they pretty much just detail all the specifics about some of the bug fixes they're going to be implementing. However, there is a community wishlist they mentioned and some additions that really piqued my interest. They did confirm a custom game browser will be coming, which is awesome, and hopefully breathe some new life into the Forge community. They also confirmed Join and Progress will be added, which I'm super happy happy about, since that was always a huge pain for me in the MCC, and we also know we will be getting more updates after this massive one which they're currently working on, which is reassuring, and hopefully the MCC can really become something special when they're done. Like I said, they also brought up a community wishlist of features, some of which I'd absolutely love. By far, the number one thing would be Halo Reach. If I could somehow play my favorite campaign in the series in 1080p 60fps, I would be absolutely in love and astounded. They mentioned the chances for this aren't too high, but I would absolutely love it, especially if they added Reach Firefight and ODST Firefight. Additional Spartan customization, I also agree, is very desired, in addition to the Halo 4 missing content, such as the Mark V armor. And something that aren't a huge deal to me, but I would still really like to see, are a UI refresh and a change in the progression system. So I really can't wait to see which of these will be implemented. If done right, they can really save this game and actually make something of the Master Chief Collection. We know it's being optimized for Xbox One X, so I do think the future is bright, and just imagine the Master Chief Collection actually being a real hub and celebration of Halo's past, and truly filled to the brim with content. I'm incredibly excited to see what they do, and hopefully four years later they can finally make something of the Master Chief Collection. So don't forget to tell me in the comments below what you guys think about the Master Chief Collection, and which changes you would like to see in the future, and also don't forget to subscribe to Majestic Gaming for more Halo videos in the future. Alright guys, thanks for watching, Majestic Gaming.